Hey everyone. So this is just the area where I had the rabbits and I have just been dumping empty pots back here and I need to get this all cleaned out. I've started uh, the new compost pile back here. I'm moving my compost pile from inside the garden to over here. So I have already started to dump weeds and things. On the left is a finished uh, worm bin that I dumped out. But over here is where I had the rabbits inside this dog kennel or what have you. And their cages are still in there. Over here, I, my husband has been dumping grass clippings and um, trimming the um, bushes in the front. And just he's been just dumping the different, um, we have like ornamental grasses in the front. And he trims them every year and then he just dumps them back here. But all of this has to come down. This was the rabbit run. And you can see those weeds are overgrown. And I just need to get all this down and get all those weeds cut down. All right, so I got the outer um, fencing or what have you. I got that done, I got that out, got that down. So now I need to get in here and I need to get those tarps out of there and I need to start whacking on these weeds. All right, guys. So I got all these weeds trimmed down. It looks great. I'm happy with this. Um, this was with my Garden Joy that I got from Mother's Day. I have been putting that thing to good use, you guys. So I think I'm going to put some shady plants back here, but uh, I'm not done with this area yet. All right, guys, we came inside and I just moved my office into the spare bedroom. My son has moved out and my daughter took the big bedroom. So I am in the smallest bedroom now with my office area as well as my crafting will be in here and all of my gardening things I will have in here. Everything will have a place in here by the time I'm done with it. So right now I have just, everything is just in here. I have not situated anything really yet. I have not decorated. Um, my daughter still has tacks and pins and things still on the, on the walls and um, I haven't decided if I wanna paint in here um, some things still need to come out and down, but yeah, this is the inside and I'm going to bring you guys along while I am doing this too. This is a table I got from five below. It's a three leg copper table and I just thought it was so super cute. And for $5, I was like, you know what? I will find a place for that. And then I got this six cube multi-purpose storage rack because I just know that I'll use it. And it was also um, $5.55 at five below. So I was like, you know what? I will use that. And I'm thinking I can probably fit it under the crafting table eventually, but um, we'll figure it out. And then I was at Aldi's the other day and these signs i got this wire shelf which was like i think five bucks and it's really sturdy and you can hang it or you can set it up so it looks really good i'll be able to create some more space with this wire shelf and then i got these um really cute hanging um decor to go on the walls and these were five dollars each and they're reversible so there's a saying on each side so you can choose which side you want to use and you can change it up and mix and match but these were five dollars a piece so i could not resist those i also got this really cool um like phone holder or gadget holder if you will from five below um this extends and it gets you know a little bit taller 
or shorter and then um, you just kind of set your device up here but this moves around you can position it um, and then it, it folds up flat but this is really cool I was I've been using this to film with to set up my phone in different places because I have my my video editing tool is on my phone so it's easier for me to film on my phone than it is for me to film on my camera because my camera has Wi-Fi but I have to transfer everything to my phone in order to edit it I don't like the software that's on my computer it's super slow um, I just have to find the right software I guess that's all but I'm so used to using the KineMaster um, on my phone that I just rather just go ahead and film on my phone so this little tool I got it five below um, and it was four dollars but it is super cool and I use it a lot so I just wanted to show you guys that too so that's it guys I just wanted to give you a little peek into what I have going on um, here at the house I did manage to get that back corner done and I got some tarps. I put the tarps down around that tree to keep those weeds at bay until I figure out exactly what I want to do back there. Um, but until I figure out what I need to do back there, I still need to finish constructing that um, compost bin. The back of it is completely open and I want to put another pallet to close the back in on that and um, and then I want to set up another one beside it so that I can sh you know um, turn the compost so then you know you have one bin empty and one bin with compost and you just switch it from one bin to the other and then that's how you get your compost turned you put your uh, top on the bottom and the bottom on the top and then and then your compost will break down quicker so that's the idea back there um i do need to get that rabbit hutch out of there still but it's super heavy it's got um that you know wood from the sawmill in it you know constructed on there um, i thought about just deconstructing the whole thing and using the wood you know for something else but i spent so much time and effort into that cage i might just try to give it away or something i don't know we'll see somebody might be able to use it that's all i got going on guys for today it's raining i can't get outside just yet um i think the rain will let up in a little while and i might be able to get outside but um yeah till next time the more you know the more you grow. Bye guys.